Awful crime scenes like we've seen in Sydney this week test the skills of police and forensic experts. New technologies and tactics are needed to train our crime fighters of the future. Tonight, Mark Gibson reports on the cutting-edge program developed here in Perth. Two academics, one journalist, a dead body and a murder weapon in the lounge room. Oh, there's a knife. Sounds like a game of Cluedo, but this is cutting-edge crime-fighting technology developed right here in Perth. It's extremely exciting because I really believe in new technologies in teaching and learning. It's the collision of two worlds. Italian forensic science whiz Paola Magni teaches at Murdoch University. I work on real crime scenes and I work in classrooms with students. Multimedia producer Jeff Aislinn teaches his craft at the same uni. We're both so focused in uh, two different areas and we're just coming together with a really nice concept. 18 months ago, with a small university grant, they got to work on an immersive, real-time, 360-degree program. It was a really good excuse for us to push that technology here at Murdoch, so fortunately um, we were allowed to go ahead with that. With real-life crime scene investigations usually off-limits, forensic science students often work with animals, but how do you give them the human experience they need? The answer is immersive learning. Immersive learning in a real crime scene. OK, mate, we just put these on. Today, fitted out with 3D goggles and hand controls, all I know is I'm stepping into a virtual reality crime scene. A quick look around reveals a male victim. Oh, I can see a body. And it's up to the student to get in there, um, basically start from scratch and start gathering evidence. There's an assortment of clues on the coffee table. So there's been drugs, cigarettes and beer. It's been a pretty big night in here. It seems the victim was attacked from behind. It looks like a gunshot wound in his back. OK, I'm no Sherlock Holmes because a closer look reveals the murder weapon and it isn't a gun. I found a knife. He's been stabbed in the back. And I'm just going to pick up the knife. I've got the knife, the bloodstained knife in my hand. This is about as close as you can get to a murder scene without smelling the blood. Paola even worked with WA Police to make sure the splatters and smears were as realistic as possible. The thing that you can see in virtual reality are extremely similar to what you will see in the real crime scene. This is just a prototype. It'll soon be wireless with different crime scene scenarios. And as technology improves, so will the virtual capabilities. It's not yet at the stage in which you can do a full investigation, but definitely a critical thinking about a crime scene is absolutely possible. While VR won't completely replace old-fashioned books, it's perfect for a new generation of tech-savvy students. I think it's about enhancing the learning, encouraging the critical thinking and um, keeping up with the trends, the technological trends that the kids are used to. The project has just been shortlisted for a WA award for emerging innovators and tech entrepreneurs. What do you think? Very cool, very realistic. Um, I found a body but I don't think I found the killer yet. Oh, you did all right. <laughs> I think you've done pretty good for an amateur. That competition will be held at Murdoch Uni next week with a national final in October.